Hello and welcome to our video tutorial on the new Save to Video feature in Banana Box 2015. This feature allows you to quickly and easily make a video of a Banana Box song and upload it to YouTube in a very simple way and taking very little time. So right now I have a smooth jazz tune that I entered in Band in a Box, backing tracks that I think people might like on YouTube so they can practice soloing along to these changes. So I'm going to go to the Save As button and select Save As Video. There are many options here and I'll go over them later in the video, but for now I'll keep it absolutely simple and just use the defaults. So I'll render the video. and this green bar shows the progress. When it's done, I then press Upload to YouTube. It then opens the YouTube upload page along with a folder containing my rendered video. If I wasn't already logged in, I'd have to first log into my YouTube account, but since I always stay logged in, all I have to do is drag my video into YouTube. As you see, it's showing as just a few minutes to upload. I'll click Publish so that once it's done uploading and processing, it'll be live. So I'll skip ahead a bit in the video. And it's now showing as Published. So I can watch it here. Whether you're a hobbyist, a teacher, or a working musician, there are many great ways to use this cool feature. For example, say you're a jazz studies teacher and you want your students to practice some 251 licks. Band in a Box is certainly tailor made for that, and it's incredibly easy to enter practice songs like that. For example, I'll enter 251 in C D minor 7, G7, C major 7. And as you probably know, you can enter any chord progression in any key in Band in a Box, and then whatever style you pick, Band in a Box will play your progression. So to continue with this practice file, I'll use the Copy From To feature to copy those two bars to the rest of the song. And I'm going to copy it 11 times, and each time it copies, I'm going to get it to transpose five semitones, or up a perfect fourth. So you see, we now have this 2-5-1 progression going through the cycle of fifths through all 12 keys. And I'll repeat it three times. I'll go into the style picker to pick a style. And I'll pick a slow jazz ballad. I'll press play. And our jazz student is going to get some great real tracks musicians to play with. Ron Carter on bass, Kenny Barron on piano, and Lewis Nash on drums. So again, I'll go into the Save to Video dialog. Now I'll show you some of the options. Our last video was saved at 1280 by 720, but you can customize it yourself, either by entering the dimensions here or by picking from our presets. And I'll pick 640 by 360. In the last example, I included the default title, but you can enter your own. And I'll enter Practice Your 251s. Now again, I'll render it. And again, I'll upload to YouTube.
Now I'll skip forward in the video a bit. And again, here we have a published video. So I went from scratch to entering a song and having it on YouTube in about five minutes flat. As a teacher, there are lots of other great applications for this. For example, even for the very beginner piano student who's learning their first C major scale, you could make your student a fun pop backing track to play their scale along to. if you're in a band and you've written a new song that you want your bandmates to learn, you could enter the song in Band in a Box, find the style you want to do it in, and send it to them to learn. Now with this one I had the scroll ahead feature checked, so you can see the top line is always the current line. Or you could make custom YouTube videos for all of your bandmates. For example, this one for the guitar player, where I muted everything except one of the guitars and the drums before making the video. We hope you enjoy this exciting new feature in Band in a Box 2015. Have fun!